TrumpetWorkshop.com, Barry Danelian here for tip of the day. Today's tip is speak the language. And there are a lot of languages. There's Portuguese and there's Arabic and there's Japanese. But, you know, if I'm talking to somebody that's Japanese and I'm reciting Arabic poetry, he's not going to know what I'm talking about. He's not going to feel it. So if I'm in the language of a pop tune and they ask me to solo and I use the language of late 60s modern jazz and I'm playing all my hippest Woody Shaw licks that I've practiced for years and years over the pop tune, that's like speaking Arabic poetry to the Japanese person. They're just not going to get it, you know. So, I mean, I have to assess, I have to take my ego out of it, first of all, and I have to say, okay, what is the language of this music and that I've been hired to add to? And I have to try and speak that language. I would say for trumpet players, Randy Brecker is like the king of this because he played some of the most beautiful eight bar solos on some pop tunes. And we all know how great Randy can play over jazz, but check out him on a Shaka Khan tune. Check out him on James Taylor. Check out him on there's so many pop records where he just played the most beautiful, soulful solo. Roy Hargrove over you know, on a D'Angelo record. There, there's a lot of examples of guys who come in and they just play beautiful, simple, melodic, soulful, grooving things, and it, and it works perfect. So speaking the language of what is there in front of us, who we're speaking to, that's very important, and it requires us to have our ego in check to do so.